All right, Salam alaikum, everybody. This is Yusuf Azhar here. I want to give you a quick summary of Sheikh Rami's dars last night. Uh, it's about the rights of parents. And um, he started going through the book that he said he was going to go through uh, by Sheikh Muhammad Mouloud. So it was, it was very good uh, dars. I hope everybody gets a chance to listen to the whole thing. But this is a quick summary. So he mentioned that uh, Ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhu, he uh, brought up that there's three dual orders in the Quran. And the expectation is that we do them both for them to be valid. Uh, obey Allah and the Messenger, establish prayer and pay zakat, thank Allah and your parents. And uh, he highlighted the fact that it specifically mentions parents. There's no similar or analogous ayah about, let's just say, thank Allah and thank the Shaykh or something along those lines. Specifically, it's about parents. All right, he talked about the fact that our scholars, they have ijma or consensus about the fact that we have to respect our parents. There's no difference of opinion about that. Also went over the hadith of the Prophet talking about when your parent are angry with you, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is angry with you or happy with you, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is happy with you. And he also said, though, that doesn't mean that it's um, you just do anything to make your parents happy with you. All right. He talked about this comes up a lot. He actually he said that people say that, oh, well, my parents were really mean to me or my mom was mean to me. Or my dad was mean to me or whatever. Or very oppressive. Actually, even then we have to respect them. The, the respect never stops. Even if our parents are oppressive towards us, we still maintain respect for them. All right, then he talked about the different types of righteousness towards our parents. So there's different categories, righteousness of the tongue, of the heart, of the body, and of our wealth. I'm guessing that he's going to go through these one by one. He did start going through righteousness of the tongue, and he went to some detail about honorable speech and what are the different types of honorable speech. So as I mentioned, it was great. I hope you take the time and listen to the uh, full lecture. There's, there's a lot of great stories that he mentioned. All right, thanks a lot. Salam alaikum.